all that noise. Urban Max is on. I need to see that big ass fucking cat break behind me, nigga. Man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right, where are we? Did <laughs> you start already? Right <laughs> I think I think you supposed to be saying some shit. I bet. Jay, hop on the keys. I got you, bro. My name carries the weight of the world of art. From the Harlem Renaissance to the hip hop drug era we live in today. See, right before the millennium hit in 1999, Shay Loren planted a seed that was nurtured by art and life experiences. Betrayal, heartbreak, glory, shame, love, and hate. But only a glorious act of God could bring something this beautiful to life. I am alive. And my name carries the weight of the world of art. Shum Shell! <laughs> Basquiat! So here we are. Oh, here we are. Yeah. But if he'll turn up with you, yeah. he's that guy. So he, he's that guy you want to be. He's that guy your kids look up to. Not even you, nigga, you feel me? Sean is music. He loves music. But everything you say real. You know what I'm saying? It always may not be. Straight trapped out shit, cause bro never really was a trap nigga like that, but he hung around us. I think that he's actually coming in the game at the perfect time. And now, that nigga is shit. For real, no bullshit. I'm not even trying to hype the nigga up. Basquiat was a name that I branded him with. He ain't just popping right now just cause of his shit sound good. When you dissect the nigga words. And I think Shakespeare had it right when he said, you are the main character in your life. Everybody else is your supporting cast. After Jesus met a knee, there was a message. So who's gonna be the messenger? Alright, uh, shit, what's your name? Basquiat. As bass like the fish, ski like the slopes, yacht like the boat. Like the boat? Like the boat. The boat. The boat. The boat. <laughs> oh, yeah, because what I was thinking about, dog, was literally like. On some like my last interview before I die shit. Basquiat was born in a manger March 1st, 1994 in Montgomery, Alabama. Growing up in Naples, Italy and Stuttgart, Germany, he cultivated his love for art and music. After his parents separated in 2010, Basquiat moved to Fredericksburg, Virginia with his mother. Through his lifelong friend Langston Barnes, Basquiat met Wade, a young entrepreneur currently focused on giving birth to a new empire, Urban Max. I had hit Waiter up on uh, Facebook like, yo, I got this guy that raps. And, um... I think you should listen to him, you know what I'm saying? I, thought, I was like, I think y'all should connect, link up, you know, or whatever. And um, of course, Wade was like, yeah, 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 that's, that's cool. And then the rest is, the rest is basically history. I think that he understands the, the necessity and the importance of having a team. And I think that's like a part of his business mind. Like he understands that he can't do it all and that he needs people around him who have certain abilities. But because all of your sp spiritual energy is connected, that's what keeps you connected. Because like James is the base. James can take everything that you guys are doing and bring it to fruition because he's like the light. He's, he's the one that's gonna project what everyone is doing out to the rest of the world. And, and that's what I mean when everybody has their own part to play. Because he, James ends up with the final product. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Waiter. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I remember when Sam up again, man. It was, had to be like 2011. I remember when I first met this dude, uh, he had just came to the crib because he was looking for some place to record. And I was like, you know, he's a new guy. Let me check him out because I was already messing with my own people like Skate, you know what I'm saying, AOJ and everybody. So he had came to the crib, he had started recording. And uh, the first thing in my head was like, yo, this dude is nice. Who is he, first of all? And it was like, ever since then, we've been like kind of kicking it with each other and just recording music. But I always felt like he always had something to prove. Like, he always felt like he knew he had to show everybody else that he was the greatest. Not really trying to be, you know what I'm saying, egotistical and saying, and everybody's knowing that he's the greatest, but he really wanted to make his mark. 
And let it be known that, yo, I'm Basquiat. Like, I'm not, like, trying to, how do I get people's attention? Like, this isn't attention grabber music. Like, this is me. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you me. If I can't grab your attention with me, who I am, even this documentary, this is me. If I can't grab your attention with that, maybe I shouldn't have your attention. March 1st, 2014, Basquiat began working on a remedy to cure his desire for success, Glorious. Knowing he wanted to start with his vision, he reached out to his cousin, Will Porter. It's a painting that's just symbolizing that moment right before that transfer of power to where Jean-Michel Basquiat is blessing CKC Basquiat with the name. Will had to have chosen Basquiat to be part of his immediate family karmic group for whatever reason. And it probably has a lot to do with their spiritual connection based on their multi-dimensional talent. Team Coop, Team what? Coop. Mm, this, this let, me, let me hop on this one, man. Okay. Team Coop. Cooper, you know what I'm saying? That's the maiden name in the family. And, and well, of course, the, the name that the man carried. But the Coopers are just super, super, super talented, super gifted, man. Every one of us that you meet, you gonna remember. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we carry that. We carry that that pride that we, you know what I'm saying, taking our last name. And just knowing the stories of, you know what I'm saying, uncles and great aunties and whatever, you know what I'm saying. They just had that crazy work ethic. I think that Will and Basquiat are two different sides of the same coin. And I think that that they have the ability to preach the same message, but they do it through different mediums. They've had similar experiences, I mean, same family background, so they're cut from the same cloth, but in the way in which they communicate that information, it's, it's different. Like, Basquiat paints the picture with words, whereas Will Porter paints the picture with, with paint and imagery. But, I mean, they pretty much have the ability to artistically <laughs> transmit a message. Like, in that way, they are the same. In the, in the way in which they do it, they're, they're completely different. And what about uh, one more? That's the nah, next thing. Nah, 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 cool. I, I, I'm going to send them that. That's it. Cool, man. They're cool. You know, that's the... You said cool? Cool. Yeah, that's, the, that's the drum you pushing right now. Oh, nah, nah. I don't like that jump too much. You don't fuck with cool. I don't know why y'all. Man, yeah, when I, I heard when I heard that jump, I went off. Oh, you know that, what? I, I ain't listen to it on those speakers. Hold on. Let, let me yeah. let me not be on yeah. no bias. Speakers shit. change. Yeah, speakers, situation. Speakers change. That jump. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. Uh, you tell my boss I need all of my money up front. You will need a double up in and you boys try stunt. Drag you out of your yard with no front, but you get your ass numb. She's loud as a bark, I'm a dog, and I'm saving my lungs. Bony your bitch, you freaks, you belong in a cage. What you boys out on? I know what you mean. Regardless. Any nigga ride to this shit. Pull up in a pinto, pull up in a BMW. It's happened to be a best for me. Fuck it. Tell them again, that for the kings, I'm a renaissance man I don't show my hand and I stuck to the plan Hope her face stronger than elephant skin Trunk full of sneakers, I never afford it Leather so soft but the whip is so gorgeous Blessings on blessings on blessings Keep pouring when God on your side You just don't have to force it, I know How was that, John? Man, word I'm, I'm, uh Yeah, I made the beat to that, John I'm impressed. <laughs> 100. 100. <laughs> Pretty good. Russia. And um, I'm like, you know, I need like, like cause I, ca cause I came in the game, I came in the game off the, off the, kind of like easy, kind of like cheating a little bit. Mm. Cause I met Trill and he yeah. was so talented in the beginning. And now all these years I've been watching, I remember your sister, Pressing me out to listen to you. Did I tell you and the I story? Was like, man, I just told him the story. I was like, this is when I'm like really in the shits. Like we moving, like we all yeah. over the country. We in Miami, we killing, we doing numbers. I'm like, man, I'm gonna train this shit right yeah, now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I believe now. I, I fully believe. One hundred, one hundred. Yeah, and I and I feel like if you if you pick the right people, 
Cause now, like, it's <clears throat> it ain't just about the music no more. It's like you really gotta be pulling in plays, young. What's up with that dude six? What the food? What the fuck? That's that squad. Oh, that squad. That squad. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm eating. I'm taking a brief intermission. But yeah, six is crew. But little did y'all know, the trouble that light skinned niggas bring. Damn. Fucking trying to make your ass happy, but you continue talking that you not. Fuck you. We go over now. Pause. Pause. This is the first time I've ever seen AOJ big ass run. <laughs> He type of dude, you know what I'm saying? You could throw the beat on or whatever, and he'll just vibe out with you. You know what I'm saying? One thing I pointed out to Will when we was down there, he's like, yo, do you ever notice how close six gets like to your face when he's like singing? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I fuck with it because he's confident. You know what I'm saying? He's confident in what he does. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll approach you. And be like, like singing to you, like you know what I'm saying, like almost like, like uh, a battle rapper would rap to you. You know what I'm saying, with that same swag, that same confidence. Making music with dude, and just making that song in particular. Um, actually, the last time I went down to Georgia in 2014, we had linked up, and that's when we did the Lost in Florida vlog, because um, we had drove from Georgia to Florida, and uh, we were just freestyling in the car, and I played him the song that I um, that I was writing. And it was so real. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We just riding around in a car or whatever, vibing. And he started spitting, you know what I'm saying? Um, kind of like this hook, because I was like, I can't get a hook for it. Like, I don't know why I can't. It's not, like, not coming to me. And he started spitting this hook. And at the end of it, he said, And it feels so right. And, like, when he did that joint, it was, like, instant. Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So, fast forward a year later, we're back in the studio and end up recording that song. You know what I'm saying? So, it was it was a, a great process, you know what I'm saying? I, like I love working with bro. Girl, I need you by my side. This is where you're supposed to be. Uh -uh. Life. What's your song, man? Yeah. I'm saying whatever you talking about. Your desires reflect mine. Your desires reflect mine. That seems like that's kind of complex. Yeah, I'm about to say that seems like. It's I mean, it's good, good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, kinda... it's not bad at all. It's just like, yeah, I don't, don't make her think. So my desires are like. Alright, good. Let's do it. Baby, just come close to me. No, stay. Baby, just stay close to me. Well, I didn't. Well, I need you by my yeah, side. I just need you by my side. This is how it's supposed, supposed to be. What's that? In your desires reflect mine. Feel so real. Yeah, I like that. I play that word. I just need you by my side. This is where you're supposed to be. Your desires reflect mine, and it feels so real. This is some funky shit. Yeah. Man, I feel like this shit should be like kind of like increasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, these are reflecting mine. You know what I'm saying? How could I have that beat? These eyes reflect mine, and it feels so real. Just gonna, I'm telling you, man, the woman gonna fall in love with this joint, man. Hey, I feel like I'm about to win a Grammy. Sam, dude. We already won a Grammy. Make the song. I'm about to, win a Grammy. I'm about to like. Painting records is about to be Grammys, like, like for your attributes, nigga. Like. <coughs> just stay close to me. I yeah, just need you close. by my side. It's Grammy music right here. <laughs> this is where you're supposed to be. Your desires reflect mine in the field.
got the ugliest face. I know. <laughs> I think he got a good artistic circle around him. Like everybody around him is artistic in some sort of way. His sister does music. His best friends do music. You know what I'm saying? One of his best friends do nothing but music videos. You know what I'm saying? Do videos and videography. You know what I'm saying? His cousin Will, he paint pictures. You know what I'm saying? He do all that shit. So I think his, his circle is full of that motherfucking artistic geniuses. CKC. Alright. Toast to the fan. Squad, Urban Max. For life. May 2015 be our best year. It's 2015. Yeah, May 2015 be our best year ever. Shout out my dog Skate. I put a double shot for you, my nigga. He did, he really did. Triple I, shot for you, my nigga. I did. I got a half a shot. Goodbye. Shot! That was a bull shot. Ah. Hey, what Mario said? feel about Bastiat repping 17? I feel it's a blessing. He put he put 17 on the map. To be honest, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hundred with y'all. I'm gonna be hundred with y'all. 17 been around for the longest, but for real, whoever started who, the real nigga that started repping 17, put it on the arm, nigga. Thank you. That's I started the 17 shit. I started yelling out South Southside 17. I was that dumb nigga on the corner. Southside 17. Y'all niggas just perfected the shit. I started the shit. I say like a little Wayne. He's up there with the swag of J. Cole, the intelligent rhyme scheme of Kendrick. I say Lil Wayne, modern day Wyclef. But more hip hop. A tidy bit of Wade, a little splash of fucking Drake. You gotta throw a little alley oop of motherfucking Kendrick Lamar in there. See, I can't say that. It's necessarily a lack. When I see him, or when I envision him as an artist, I have a vision in my mind of what I want him to be. Um, people haven't heard him yet. Yeah. People haven't discovered him yet. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Once people hear this shit, it's gonna be like hearing the word of Jesus, and this shit gonna travel. You know what I'm saying? To be the biggest thing in the whole entire world, like Christianity, man. I don't particularly like the the sexual innuendos. Personally, for me, it makes me uncomfortable to hear my brother talk about women in that way. So for me, I don't like that. Um, you didn't you didn't have to do so much cussing. My first thing was great, good, good pen. You're gifted beyond comprehension. When I first heard his music, I was I was. Flabbergasted. I was like, what is this? And why are you tearing down women? I'm your mother. I'm a woman. One thing I do appreciate about him is that he doesn't care <laughs> about that. Like, he is who he is in spite of what other people try to project onto him. So I think that's a strength. What do you think about labeling right, yourself? Exactly. You know, Absolutely. if I label myself, I'm here. I would rather for you to label me. I'd rather for you to go to the store and say, I'm looking for Sean Jackson's CD, and do you know what area it may be right. in? Well, that's right in between. You know, it's not <laughs> over here. It's not over here. We created a whole new category for him, right. and, and here it is. So um, I, I I think um, Christian music, gospel music, gospel rap, it, it is what it is. You know, it's a, it's a positive message. Sometimes... It digs deep into those uh, dark places to expose reality, really bringing a uh, synthesizing life with the gospel message because that's what it should be about, but maybe not often enough. No, no. Yo, man, what you talking about, man? What? I told y'all I was gonna do it, right? Fuck around and get the pussy. Oh, huh? <laughs> you tripping. Nah, this ain't you. Told her watch the shoes when she get inside. Well, this nigga got a big boy. Nah, this ain't you, boy. Hey, it's a new day, baby. It's a new day. It's a new day. Bitch, nigga, you got that. Nah, you can't hold right. Hey, 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 hey. Boy, this nigga got all oh, my God. Money bags. Boy, this ain't you, boy. This is unbelievable. Money bags. This nigga got the 
<laughs> he got the hat to go with him, boy. Oh, no, this is oh, deja vu. No. I'm talking to my dog waiter right oh, now. Oh my, hey, this is deja vu, though. You said you were talking to waiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pulled up to his crib, though. I just got my first car. Yeah. Let me find out. Boy, this nigga stunting, dog. You understand, nigga? Nah, chill, chill. I had to, bro. You know how them Coopers do, bro. I had to pull. I had to pull up on them in that Benz, bro. Money bags. <laughs> that shit, Twenty-one, yeah. And I can say that, like, as a squad, as, like, Urban Max, we all came from, like, humble beginnings. You know what I mean? We all went through the struggle together. You know what I'm saying? We all held each other up at the end of the day because it was important for us to maintain our unity. You know what I'm saying? And we had times where everybody would joke on each other and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it was all love. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loved each other. We had, like, a love-hate relationship, and it's still that way. Look at that girl, Dee Dee. Sorry, Skate, your wife looking ratchet as fuck right now. Yeah, she ratchet, but you know, Skate found somebody to fall in love with, start a family and build. While we, on the other hand, still looking for that. You do have to move on because even though, like in your case, Basquiat, you know, you said this young lady moved on, she got married, you know, um, Mercedes has moved on. She has a daughter, but you have to understand that where they are right now in their lifetime is that they have karmic intentions based on what they're doing right now with someone else. Some songs on the album are so personal that it's like I feel my heart jump like when they play. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of them. But anyways, back to like who's about and everything. Um, I was in a, a situation, uh, a relationship or whatever, and the relationship taught me that some things are just forbidden. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to kind of leave it at that. Some things, you know what I'm saying, when you're with somebody and you claim to love this person, some things you just shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, And, and I learned through that experience that I have this ability to write myself out of situations like I can take my pen and create a fantasy like obviously it never happened but I can create this fantasy instead of acting it out you see what I'm saying you gotta have a motherfucker on your team you gotta have a, 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 a star player you gotta have somebody that's gonna ride with you you know what I mean yeah, you can get man. You can't have no, nobody that's, that's flaky. You gotta be on your team. Do you have any fears about yourself? Absolutely. My greatest fear is that he will encounter some someone or other people that has not been as fortunate as he is and they end up having some type of jealousy or envy or strife and try and cause him harm. That's my greatest fear. For me, I come from a very, very, very privileged and lavish, if you will, lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not used to not eating when I want to eat. I'm not used to not eating what I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm spoiled you know what I'm saying spoiled if you will like that's how that's how I grew up you know what I'm saying with that I grew up with that silver spoon in my mouth and I never want to lose that that silver spoon and I don't think there's anything wrong with that it just it, it makes me want this shit so much more like and to even upgrade my spoon you know what I'm saying like to gold but it, it just like I, I never want to lose that and I don't I don't think anyone should. I don't think if you're eating with a plastic spoon or no spoon at all, you, you know what I'm saying? With a better spoon. Right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like upgrade, upgrade your spoon because it's not. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I really never look at Sean as being quote unquote a rapper. I I look at Sean as being my son. Um, his views and the things that he chooses to do in life, I try to appreciate that in him because he is a, and he's an individual and all three of my children are bright young people 
and we've always taught them to be to be who they are that's something that nobody can change we're all individuals and we all have have been blessed with different creativity so in him rapping I used to love when he do it in church. Everything that I feel like I'm good at or talented in started right here. It started right here. Um, and I feel like there's everybody, whatever your gift may be, whatever it is, and for a couple of reasons. One reason that, that's really important is the fact that um, it's very important to talk to God. Um, and however it is that you do that, uh, a lot of people do it through the traditional way of praying which is wonderful. Some people do it through writing. I do my talking to God through rap. Right. I rap, I make music, and that's what I do. That's how I uh, get out all my my feelings, my fears, my joys, my all everything. Right. That's how I get it out. Right. So I just want to share this quick verse with y'all real quick, and um, also share it with God. I just want to share this with y'all. Right? And that evolved into something else. It was something that he enjoyed doing. Sean is music. He loves music. And he does what he loves to do. And the rapping is a part of that. You don't need all that drive for nothing to show for it. You like Marcin Lynch, but you gonna still throw for it? <laughs> That's probably over their heads and accept that. Your third time through the album, you might catch that. Another glass of soda got me on my master Yoda. Back to writing for the love. I'm never trying to be the pro. And I just, I've learned to appreciate that about him. I can't change that. I can't change who he is. And that is who he is. How was Basquiat growing up as a kid? Oh my goodness. That is a very good question. Basquiat growing up as a kid, he was always interesting he stayed into something all the time yeah he was standing on the front porch of the school yeah. and um yeah i had my uniform on it and your mom took a picture it had to be your mom i don't know who else would have did it but um and one day you decided to leave that school and uh, obviously they didn't have a gate locked and you walk down to my job, up the fire escape, and somebody said, hey, I think that's your son out there. And I was like, nope, my son is in school. And they were like, nope, your son's right here on the fire escape. And I'm like, how the fuck you get out of school? <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, the folks were like, Shit, I'm sorry, you know, we, we thought he was here. And I'm like, no, nope, he's down here. How you found me, how you knew where I worked, at that age, I have no idea. Wow. But yeah, it was that that was that was a crazy day. Cause I had to call your mom and I was like, hey, this cat left the school, came to my job, and the people at the school didn't even know it was missing. And yeah, that didn't sit very well with her. But when you are as as advanced as you are, you know, it makes perfect sense now. Um, just don't let them take uh, what you have and minimize it. I could tell that he was a really, really, really just like genuinely happy kid. And that fucked with me. I wanted to change that. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, and, and not even in a way to where I was like trying to make him not be happy anymore. But I could tell that he didn't, you know what I'm saying? Of course, like he doesn't have brothers. And so, like, I grew up with brothers and older cousins. And I could tell that he didn't have like that, that, uh, just like that camaraderie with other, you know what I'm saying, like other dudes or cousins or whatever. And I wanted to like build that with him, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like it was like my job to toughen him up. <laughs> and who are you trying to reach with the music? As I've always, uh, that's all what I've always asked. Right. Who are you really trying to reach? And still. Human like are you trying to reach humanity? Mm -hmm. You're trying to reach those that know church talk? Trying to reach those that have no affiliation. You're trying to reach those There's that. Somebody who understands 
the things that I'm going through. Um, and see, see, I, so then I would, I would beg to differ with her because the idea that um, that you are um, that you're not alone, and there's a whole, there's a plethora of this society that has been um, that have been almost kicked to the side for church because the church is the thing that hurt them. Or their loved ones that were in a church are the ones that hurt them. So, so what you do is sometimes you you go and you walk away from the church in an effort to um, insulate yourself from that pain again. So for those people that will understand that, and I think that's what you reach first. I think you reach p people that n know your struggle before you try to reach those that don't. So there's a whole group of people where the church which is supposed to give life, took their life. And since it took their life, the struggle to regain that life becomes what's important. So for those people, yeah, they, they can, as soon as they hear the first line, they be like, doggone it, about time somebody said it. Yeah, because they, they, they walk into the room and they know what the room looks like. They, they, they know the smell. But overall, when you, like now, when you get in touch with yourself, and you face the realities of the pain, now you can say, okay, let me put some good to this pain. Because I think, I think overall, it's the struggle, like Paul says, I've learned to glory in my tribulation or glory in my suffering. And I think when we get to that part where we take our suffering and recognize that there's something glorious, something worth talking about, not glorious as oh, we're so fancy and all that. No, some glorious from the perspective of us. There's something worth me dealing with with humanity from what I've gone through. Genius, dog. The way he be piecing shit together, I be like, man, nice. nigga, you feel me? I, I'm finna make the nigga stop singing. He ain't gonna have no use for me. Piecing shit, you know what I'm saying? God ain't gonna have you, have you like that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna know you gonna do? You gonna know stop piecing? <laughs> Sock you got on. Oh, no, you got <laughs> that J covered ten percent of his heel. Are you that. still cool with that one nigga that rock bottom that bit? Did he pay for it? Man, hell no. Hey, that nigga that speechless told me that son. Hey, speechless like that nigga ain't paying for it, cuz. Motherfucker, Ace Boo Cool, it's yeah. my motherfucker Ace Boo Cool right here. Special good nigga. Yeah, yeah. real, real. What we talking about? This is my shit, like I'm saying, light skin. I like girls with like pretty eyes. Eyes is everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, eyes and thighs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eyes, thighs with a side of fries. Whatever you want, get it, be get it. You love cheese, food. Potato you bitches. Yo. Did you just slip something in your pocket, sir? You said what? Are you shoplifting? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm being serious. I got it on footage if you don't need it. I'm just fake ass watching the fake ass feeling you got in your ear. Let's <laughs> <Stop laughs> get that. That's me, sir. Boy, the the cameraman real poor to the shit. Trying to figure out how to zoom out. Trying to figure out how to record. Trying to figure out how to record. I've been there, brother. I was fucking nervous. He took my all this shit. And every time he's Oh. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Ah, yeah. he'll bust his ass. <laughs> <laughs> because your father has a great pen. Um, when he started preaching, I would concentrate on his pen to help him. He had a good, he had a, he had the command of words. I am not aware that he has a drug problem. I am aware that he has. Um, smoke marijuana. <laughs> um, as have I in, in um, the younger days. Um, I used to beat my cousin up a lot when I was really, but it, and it wasn't even like, not true. He's a creative genius.